Washington Building Congress is pleased to present the Craftsman Hall of Fame. This honor is in recognition of enduring commitment, exceptional skill, quality craftsmanship, and extraordinary dedication. My name is Chris Paskovich, born and raised in Prince George's County, Maryland. I work with Clark Foundation, started there in 1974. I'm a second generation pile driver. My dad worked on the first Bay Bridge. He helped start the pile drivers local, and it just ran in the family. I've been working in the city so long, I remember getting on 395 and there was no traffic. I used to ride a motorcycle to work for like the first couple of years, and I could drive from light to light riding a wheelie on my motorcycle, and there was no traffic. <laughs> Back in the 70s, you're amazed at how massive construction was, especially on metro jobs. The train would be riding down the street and poke a hole in the mat and tip over a little bit. It seemed like an ambulance would show up once a week picking somebody up. It was like the Wild West. I have an older brother, Gary, who started in 71, and then I started in 73, and my younger brother started in 1979. So one day, uh, the executive vice president, Hal Roach, met my dad and said, you're the greatest man for this company. You got three sons, all superintendents working for Clark. We did a lot of big projects. So when the job was really big, like DC Convention Center, we would tag team and all three of us would be on that job. And that was fun. But to get, get to work with your brothers, your whole career, 40 some years each, no better than that. There was a, a lot of people in the beginning of my career that I worked with for 30, 40 years. And when I first started, I was always asking questions. They nicknamed me Why, because I always asked questions. And then once I got up and became a foreman in 1980 and started pushing jobs, I actually got into some big jobs right off the bat. I won a couple craftsmanship awards in 84 and 85. Then my nickname was Light Bulb <laughs> from then on. Because <laughs> I always had an idea, better way to do it. Like Petworth Station, we won Craftsmanship Award there. That was, a, that was a big project. We were working a lot of hours. So we're out there at nine o'clock at night, putting steel in a hole. And then I see gun flash. I said, time to knock off. The neighbors want to go to sleep. <laughs> so we, we hid behind the crane I you know, walked down the alley and snuck out of there. One of my early jobs in 76, I was working with a, on a job with like two of my neighbors and one of them came up to me and goes, you know, you're a lifer. I said, what do you mean? He says, you like what you're doing. You're gonna be doing this the rest of your life. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> I first met Jeff as a third year apprentice. Yeah. He was a young 19, 20 year old. We knew real quick he was from Pennsylvania because of all the Pittsburgh Steelers stuff he wore. It was more than a job to Jeff. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was him. You know, it, it was just, um, it wasn't about, you know, making a dollar here and there, but supporting his family was important. But uh, he was a true craftsman. Jeff, he was uh, definitely a country guy. I remember his uh, pickup truck that he drove on the first week when we, we got him. It was one of those monster trucks that he was doing. I mean, Jeff was a, a craftsman of a lot of stuff. Auto mechanic was also that. But we soon realized, real quick, the attention to detail was well liked as an apprentice. People wanted to work with him. Uh, he took the trade very seriously as a young uh, electrician and apprentice learning, learning our trade. He stood out real quick. Regardless if you knew him from an operational perspective or from a field perspective, people were excited to be a part of Team Jeff. The pride in craftsmanship was how Jeff showed up every day. Jeff could rig anything up. A wire pulls, big cable tray, he worked on a lot of MV cable on, on certain jobs, and, uh, but Jeff was really, he liked the power distribution part of the trade. Later on, Jeff became a general foreman and um, was the best mentor of young apprentices, young journeymen, showing them the trade. They took time with the young guys. I mean, he cared about you and the success of, of what you were doing. And uh, you know, all his years of experience uh, really paid off for some of the young guys. 
For me, working side by side with Jeff for the first four or five years as, you know, as apprentice and then young journeyman, for me it was just the interaction with Jeff, the daily interaction that we had, just talking, not just the job, talking about his family. He loved his family, loved his kids. His oldest, Katie, was just born and he just kept going on and on. But for me, it was just the, the everyday interaction with Jeff. This is the furthest thing from Jeff's character, is uh, having a moment to celebrate Jeff. Wouldn't have been something he ever asked for or expected, uh, but that's what makes it the most appropriate. It's important for us, for his family, to have this opportunity. There's a lot of colleagues in the audience tonight that are, collectively we're gonna have a good time celebrating Jeff, even though we know he wouldn't want it and to be the spotlight, no uh, but we're all gonna have one for Jeff tonight. It is with great pride that we present this year's inductees to the Craftsman Hall of Fame.